Well, markets are slightly low and have been that way since the opening bell on this very last trading day of the year. But that said, all three major indexes are expected to finish 2021 with some serious gains and on the precipice of new record highs. So did the Santa Claus rally deliver to expectations? Let's bring in our market panel today from Kingsview Wealth Management, Scott Martin. Great to see you, Scott. And the chief market strategist at Crossmark Global Investments, Victoria. Fernandez, Victoria, good afternoon to you. Let me begin with Scott, though. Scott, how are we feeling about the markets as we wrap up 2021? Not a bad gift from Santa Claus, Ashley. I mean, if you go back a couple weeks ago, three weeks ago, everybody <laughs> was panicked uh, coming into the end of the year. I mean, this was going to be the big unwind, right, as you mentioned in the lead in there of this big rally we've had, and it didn't happen. And that's frankly because that's typically what happens in market psychology, Ashley, is when people start calling for the experts, quote unquote, start calling for the great rollover, it doesn't happen, and the market goes back in their face. So I think we should be relatively uh, full of gratitude with what happened here because the market has shown itself to be very resilient and being able now to push through a lot of these same old problems that we've laid out with, say, the COVID variant, with uh, promises of tax hikes and things from the Federal Reserve as well that were scary for the markets once seem to not be scaring us anymore. There's a lot to be positive about going into 2022, in my opinion. All right, Victoria, you know, we've had a lot of analysts say, look, you can expect higher interest rates next year, you can expect lower stocks, and you can certainly count on volatility. Would you agree? Yeah, I think actually all three of those are probably accurate. I mean, you know, Santa Claus came in with a bang, um, and we've been a little lackluster the last couple of days, but the Santa Claus rally should continue into the first couple of trading days of next year. Then we start to refocus and look at some of these items you're talking about. We do think rates will go up um, on the longer end. We think there'll be some consolidation in the equity markets as the Federal Reserve starts to lay out their plan of when they're going to raise interest rates, and that's going to cause some volatility. So I think we can anticipate that for 2022. All right, Victoria, I'm going to follow up with you. Uh, talk about the cruise lines. The CDC sim simply says don't go cruise, cre uh, you know, cruising these days. So where do these and other reopening stocks go from here? I know that's difficult to predict, but what do you think? Yeah, I'll have to look into my crystal ball and see what it tells me. But I think <laughs> one of the things we've always talked to our clients about is don't make a huge play on pure reopening trades, right? Look at the longer term perspective mm. in, in these um, names and see if it's a business model you like. Let's see if there's growth potential. Look at the balance sheets of these companies. It's what we always talk about. For cruise lines, it's not a place where we want to be right now. And we're not um, in airlines right now either. I think you can look at the reopening trade more towards the consumer side in regards to consumer discretionary and some consumer staples. Right. I would stay away a little bit more from those highly volatile names of cruise lines. I'm going. Very good. Scott, to you. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, Peloton sliding on a downgrade. Will one of the great pandemic stocks be able to turn it around or is it uh, more bad news for Peloton? I hope so, because I own some. Uh, and I own some low, so that's okay. Uh, <laughs> gosh, though, what an interesting tale, Ashley, for Peloton these days. I mean, you know, talk yeah. about when you think you hit rock bottom, when the girls from Sex and the City take shots at you, and then you get downgraded after that. <laughs> so I, I think the bad news, I mean, look, the bad news is pretty much everything has happened to Peloton that can possibly happen, right? I mean, maybe the, the girls of The View are going to attack them or something. The point is, there's, there's bad news in a lot of stocks right now, to Victoria's point. Same with the cruise lines. At some point, the airlines, too, yeah. you have to pick these up because it can't get much worse. It feels horrible. Don't get me wrong. But I think Peloton is a buy here. Yeah. All right. Victoria, very good, Scott. Victoria, Treasury yields dipping today. They've been a bit of a yo-yo, the 10-year. Uh, do you still like financials? We do like financials. It's one of our favorite sectors going into 2022. We actually think the, the longer end of the curve has been probably mispriced a little bit when you look at where inflation has been, when you look at where credit spreads are. And so we think that longer end of the curve will start to move higher, but it's not the only reason we like financials. Their balance sheets have been extremely strong, especially compared to where they've been historically. We think there's going to be some loan growth. And look, the financials have been hit. They've taken a hit the last month or so. So it's a good place to go in especially for the big money center banks and maybe start a position if you don't have one already. 
Very good. We'll have to leave it right there, folks. But Victoria and Scott, stellar stuff. Thank you so much for joining us, and a happy new year to you both.